what kind of resources are more than enough to like preparation for PSIR optional? Yeah. Uh, this is one of the you know uh, difficult question that you have raised, right? And you know most of the students, ninety nine point nine nine percent of the students are often confront this question that what book, which book should I read? Right? If you look at the books, books has not been written according to the UPSC syllabus, right? And books has been written uh, as per the university pattern, right? For the university or if there are good books, that good books are basically scholarly best, right? So, you know, first students should begin with the syllabus, right? And the students should look syllabus thoroughly. The students should touch upon many good books there are, right? But one book would be not sufficient. There are multiple books, right? For example, if I say political theory, right? So, in political theory, there is a one book by Rajiv Bhargava and Sokacharya, right? Uh, published by Pearson. It is a good book, right? But if you look at the language of this book, it is a thick, right? And therefore, in order to understand the basic concepts like power or liberty or rights or democracy, you know, one needs, you know, their mentor, their guide. So that the guide can solve the issue and then the student later on focus on it. Now, if you look at the Western political thought, now there is a, you know, not a single book, right? You can, one can go through, you know, the... O.P. Gava or Brian Nelson or, you know, Bhattacharya and Mukherjee book, Western Political Thought. Even if you look at, not all the topics of the book is important for uh, students, right? Only selected books, selected pace, sometimes selected paragraphs are needed to read in order to, you know, understand the or cover the UPC syllabus.